I want to welcome everyone here to Prophecy Snapshots. You give me four to five minutes a day and I'll take you into something deep into prophecy. Now I want to remind you that you can go to our website and start right from the very beginning of the rapture of the church leading up to this day and uh, I'm real excited about what we're doing. Okay, so in our study here, we've seen that the rapture has taken place. Believers go to heaven to the judgment seat of Christ, but here on the earth, right at the moment of the rapture, begins the great tribulation. So the Bible says there is what is known as the four horsemen. Okay, we're going to look at these. The first one is the white horse. Okay, now what we're looking at is the story of of the Antichrist. So the rider on the white horse, it is the Antichrist. Now look with me. Let's go down here to Revelation chapter 6, verse 2. It says, And I saw and beheld a white horse. Now just so you know, white stands for peace. Okay, we all know that. So he comes in great peace. And then it says, And he um, that sat on him, which is the Antichrist, he had a bow and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth to conquer. Now, I want you to take note that he goes to conquer the world with a bow, but he's missing an arrow, right? Okay, so what does that tell you? He overtakes the entire world through peace. He's the good guy. I mean, CNN News, they're going to love him. Just so you know. All liberals are going to love him. Hollywood is going to love him. He's the man of the hour. So he's going to step on the scene to save the day. Now, let's uh, also look what he's going to do down here in uh, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. It says, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Okay, now, the book of Daniel, I'm planning on doing in time here, just the way we are. Uh, the book of Daniel will tell us that there is what is known um, back in the Old Testament as a week of seven years. Okay, so we don't have time to get into all that, but when it's talking about this in Daniel, one week, it's talking about seven years. So the Antichrist is going to come and make a false peace for seven years. With who? With the Middle East. Okay, now this is really interesting. He's going to make a peace pact, not only with the world, but between the Muslims and the Jews. Now, I want you to realize this was written 3,000 years ago. So right now, the biggest threat that we have in the entire world are the Muslims, Muslim extremists. I mean, I don't have to say any more about that. They hate the Jews, and there's a constant battle going on over there. It's a religious thing between all of them there. And, but he's going to bring peace between the two of them. He's going to bring this, this peace treaty between the Jews and the Muslims. Now, we're going to look more at that tomorrow of how he pulls that off. This is really interesting because when you hear what he's going to do, we're, we're seeing this unfold right now at this very moment. But well, I want you to take note of it. The, the uh, Antichrist, he is a liar. I mean, he is. He's just a liar. He's going to tell this big lie of what's happened to these multi-millions of people. Now, I want you to realize that uh, believers are conservatives. If you're living for God, I mean, you're not for abortion, you're not for gay marriage, and all the conservatives will be gone, the majority. All believers, the troublemakers have been taken out of the way. We don't know what that great lie is he's going to tell, but, but he's going to tell a great lie. He's going to ooze with charisma. He's going to ooze with charm. And uh, a anyone that is a non-believer and for a liberal agenda, that they, they're just going to think this is great. Okay, he's going to be an intellectual genius. He's going to be an oratorical genius. Okay, he's going to be a political genius. He's going to be a commercial genius. He's going to be a military genius. He's going to be a religious genius. Uh, it's hard to even comprehend exactly everything he's going to be able to do, but he's empowered by the devil. Now, I would like you to look with me. Let's go down here to, um, uh, you, we don't have that verse. Okay, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. It talks about the great escape that God is going to take us out of this world before the hour of temptation comes upon this world earth and thank God for that. Just like Noah and his family, God gave him an opportunity to get on the boat and to escape the great flood. Listen, everyone is going to run out of time. No one is going to run out of eternity. 
So we need to prepare for that, which is never going to end. But you know what the truth is? Most of us squander our time living for this, which will never last. Listen, everyone is going to run out of time, but no one is going to run out of eternity.